Shalom, this is a new yes from Israel at Hebrew on the Island 2. Today's video is, this is for my Hebrew preppers. I don't care about the heathen preppers. Okay, listen. You know we're living in the end times. Uh, it's 2019 February. You know, the president should be or may be declaring a state of emergency in reference to his border war. War. What some of you guys don't realize is that there's a lot of things connected to declaring a state of emergency. It's giving the presidency more executive powers. You just think, oh, is this going to take some money from here to a lot for, for wall construction? You don't realize he can close the banks, stop people from getting their money taking their money out of the bank, totally. And there's also another important thing, and this is the focus of this video. It's for you preppers. And what do you preppers like to do? You just want to hoard food supplies. And you know, people are telling you this, you know, uh, yo, it's a smart thing to do. What if this happens? What if this happens? What if that happens? Martial law, et cetera, et cetera. Here at Hebron Island too, we don't know the future. But you know what I'm gonna tell you about Hoarding and buying your MREs, you know, from these suppliers and et cetera, et cetera, is that there's receipts, there's logs, there's accounting of who they sell to. The government controls everything. You know, they have this AI, <laughs> they have quantum computing, they know how much stuff you got. So you're buying all this stuff, and guess what? When martial law kicks in, when it, whenever it does, they know exactly who got the food and who has the guns. Guess where they're going? They're going right to your house. I don't care about the heathens. They could prep all day. The military, the UN, so is going to have a field day at their house. What you Hebrew Israelites have to do, if you want to, during that period of time, you want to store up some water and some food, buy that Walmart. Don't be buying MREs and stuff like that or whatever. I don't even think about that because, you know, I, I rely on the scriptures. He said, in that day, we will eat and drink and everybody else is going to be crying. It's a matter of faith and believing in your power, which is the most high Elohim. The Elohim of Israel, the Elohim of righteousness, the one in Exodus 3.14 who said, I am that I am. Moses tell him I, I am has sent, sent you. We have to rely on him, him alone. He's the only savior, redeemer, creator, our fortress, our rock, our food supply and our water supply. And that's who I'm having faith in. For those that, hey, I want to get a little water, a little food, go ahead, right ahead. What I'm telling you is to do is don't be like these heathen preppers. They, they, I bought $5,000 worth of MREs, meals ready to eat. And I got this, and I got this, got these generators. They brought them from suppliers and stores. They're reporting you to the government. They're coming for your supplies. <laughs> Spend your money elsewhere. For Hebrews, preppers keep doing what you're doing. Here at Hebrew on Island too, my focus, only focus is the Hebrew Israelites. What you heathens do, we can care less. Your future fate is sealed. Slavery, destruction for many of you and slavery for the rest, for, for eternity, for the sins of your forefathers and for your sins. We don't care what you do. This is for my Hebrew family, the niggles that have been scattered to the four corners of this flat earth who only fulfill prophecy, the prophecies of the Bible. Only important people in the Bible are Negro people. No other. So for you heathens, prep until you faint. But for my brothers and sisters, trust in your law and history book, in the most high, your power. He says in Jeremiah, he says, you know, they're going to be crying, but in that bad time of Jacob's trouble, we will eat and drink. We just have to trust. Again, you want to buy some sardines and tuna fish? Well, they, they, they ain't going to be tracking that. Go right ahead if you want to. 
Hopefully this video is edifying, but let me read what I got on screen. In 1994, former President Bill Clinton, and look it up for yourself, released an executive order that lumped together a number of laws that could go into effect in the event of a declaration of martial law, an emergency. One of the laws included in this order, number 10998, and look it up for yourself. 10998 allows the federal government to seize hoarded food supplies. So you, you guys think, oh, I'm one up on them. No, you're not. You're, you're 6,000 steps behind them. They already, they, they already got all the chess pieces already lined up. They got every escape route closed. You think, oh, I'm going to prep. I'm going to have all my supplies here and there. I brought all these generators and all that. You, when you brought, you brought in your credit card or with cash, there's receipts. They logged that stuff in, in, in the stores, wherever you brought it from. What do you think? The government is not going to check their accounting? And say, hey, this Joe Smith Hebrew got $5,000 worth of MREs. We're going to his house first. And then throw your butt in the concentration camp. Listen, hopefully this was edifying. Look up the information. For you, this is for you Hebrew hoarder, food hoarder, hoarders. Get the memo. The memo is 10998. President Bill Clinton. Declaration of Martial Law, Executive Order, 10998. This is a new Yeserim Israel, Hebrew on the island too. Until next time, next time.